Hello, I'm Kay from the Spectre team. And in this video, we will be editing the contact page of our website. Now, this video is part of a course organized in a playlist, which you will find a link in the description below. And if you want to get the most out of it, I strongly encourage you to follow this course in the exact order the videos are organized in the playlist. Now, in order to help you complete this project, you find the link in the description of this video where you can download the course files. Now, this course is free and even if you don't have web hosting, you can either use ZipWP or use a local solution like Local by Flywheel, for example. But if you want to take your website to the next level with awesome features like advanced animations, Instagram integrations and much, much more. Consider using Spectra Pro and of course, you find a link in the description below. Now, like I mentioned, you can complete the course project with free tools alone. And what we're going to do in this video is no exception. But as a bonus in today's video, I will also show you how to enhance your website with Spectra Pro. Now, as you may recall, at the beginning of this course, we imported a ready-made website with the starter templates plugin. This ready-made website came with the home page, the about page, the services page, and the contact page. And today we're editing the contact page so that it matches our brand and our content. Ready? So let's get started. So first of all, you want to go to pages, all pages. And before we start editing the contact page, we're going to open the services page. So hover over services and where you see edit, instead of clicking, I'm going to right click and click on open link in a new tab because that's just going to make things easier. So let me navigate to that tab and I'm going to select the hero section here. Now, if you want to be sure, click on the document overview icon and make sure the first container is selected here. Next, click on the three dots and click on copy. Now let me close this tab and back in pages, all pages, I'm going to hover over contact, then go to edit, right click and click on open link in new tab. Once again, let me navigate to that tab. Next, I'm going to click on the document overview icon and where you see the first container, click on the three dots, click add before. And now I'm just going to paste what I just copied. And there you go. So first of all, let me change the text. And next with my container selected, I'm going to go to style, change image, and I'm going to select this image right here. Next, click on select and I'm going to delete the previous container, this one here. So with my container selected, I click on the three dots and hit delete. Great. Now, as usual, before we start editing the rest of the page, we're going to rename our containers for organization purposes. So for that, open the course files and then navigate to the text subfolder. And we're going to open the 06 contacts text file. Now the first container is already labeled because we copied it from the services page, but let's start with the label for the second container. So I'm just going to copy it, then select the second container, click on the three dots, hit rename, paste, and save. Now inside the form container, we have two sub containers. So let me start with the first one, copy, and back here, let me expand. Let me select the first sub container, click on the three dots, rename, paste, and save. Now let me repeat the operation for the second sub container, copy. Then back in WordPress, let me select the second sub container, click on the three dots, rename, paste, and save. All right. And last but not least, the who we are container, copy. And back in edit mode, let me collapse this. And for the third container, let me click on the three dots, rename, paste, and save. All right, let me close this. Let's scroll back up. So the first container is already done. And for the second container here, first of all, we're going to change the text of the email address here. So I'm just going to copy it from here. The rest of the text is the same. And let me replace the text by pasting what I just copied. Next, let's take care of our icons. So let me select the first icon, then go to style. And for the normal icon color, you want to select color six. Now let's close this. And for the background, select color five. Next for the hover colors, for the icon color, you want to select color nine. And for the background color, color four. Now let's check. And yes, it works as intended. 
So now with our icon selected, you can see we have a floating toolbar here. So here is the Spectra copy paste icon. Just click on it, hit copy, and I'll select the second icon, hit the same icon, but this time hit paste. All right, let's repeat the operation for icon number three and for icon number four. Awesome. So let's click on save to save our work. And next, let's take care of our form. So if I click on the form field here, as you can see in the document overview, we see the other fields or elements. And I can add some more. With my name field selected, I can click on the plus sign. And here I see other blocks I can add in the form. For example, I could add a date picker. And now, as you can see, if people click on it, they can add a date. Now, let me open the document overview again and let me delete that. So this is for individual elements of the form, like the name, the email, text area, or as we just saw, the date picker. Now, as you can see, these are embedded within a form block. So by selecting the form block here, you have additional options. So here in the side panel, for example, I can decide whether or not I want to show labels. I can align the labels, the placeholders, and even edit confirmation messages. Next, if I click on the Submit Button sub-tab, as you can see right now, the style of our button is inherited from our theme. So there are two ways we can change that. Either we go to the Astra Customizer by going to Astra, Customize, then go to Global, Buttons. And if you want to see this live, let's go to our contact page. Now let me scroll down. And here, if I select this preset, as you can see, that's one of the ways to change the styling of the form button. But bear in mind, it's also going to change the style of any other page or plugin that uses the default style for the buttons. So I'm not going to save this and I'm going to close this tab and back to editing our page. The other way we can change the style of the button for this form is to toggle off the inherit from theme option. So I can also choose a preset or I can do it manually. So let's go to style. And actually, before we deal with the button, you see the placeholder color here. We can change this to color number three because it's more in line with our branding. Now let's move on to our button. So let me close the input sub tab and let's open the submit button sub tab. And now we can apply our branding colors. So normal color should be set to color number six and background color should be set to color number five. Now click on the hover tab. And this time the color should be set to color number nine and the background color to color number four. Next, let's scroll down and where you see radius, you want to change from two to 30 pixels all around. Now let's take a look and yes, looking great. Now still with our form block selected, let's scroll back up and let's go back to the general tab. So let me close the submit button sub tab. And next you have actions. So in actions, you have the two sub tab CC and BCC, just like when you're writing an email. So in the two field, you want to input the email address you want this form to be sent to. Next, you can also change the subject. So for the moment it's form submission, but we could change it to form from website. Next, you can add a Google reCAPTCHA, which is a way to secure your form against spam. Now, if you don't know how to use it, when you enable it, you will see a link here. So you can either choose V2 or V3. And if you don't know how to set it up, just click here, and then you will be redirected to this page here. Then all you need to do is click on this link here and follow the instructions on screen. And if you want to take it even further, you may want to take a look at an awesome plugin called SureForms. Now let's close this tab and let's go back in editing mode. Let's click on save to save our progression. And next let's move on to our last container. Next, let me collapse this and let me select our who we are container. Then I'm going to close the document overview so I have more space. And next I'm going to go to style, color, and I'm going to change it to color number four. Now, as you can see, the issue now is that we can't see our text here. So with my text selected, I'm going to go to style, color, and I'm going to choose color number six. Next, I'm going to select my first image. Then I'm going to go to style. And where you see border radius, I'm going to change it to five all around. So why five pixels all around? Well, if you recall the previous videos, we tried to keep some brand consistency. 
and we've been applying this rounded effect on our visuals. So with the image selected, you can see the floating bar, click on the spectra copy paste icon, hit copy style, and then select the second image, hit the same icon, but this time paste style, and let's repeat the operation for image three and image number four. All right, now let's select our first image again, go to general, change image, and we're going to select this image here, then click on select. Next, let's select the second image, but this time let's just hit replace here in the floating toolbar, open media library, and this time we're going to pick this image here. Then click on select. Now let's repeat the operation for image number three. Let's select this image and click on select. And last but not least, fourth image, replace, open media library, and let's pick this image here. Hit select. And now let's add some animation to it. So let me pick the first image, go to advanced animations, and let's select fade right. Now let's select the second image, animations, this time fade down, image number three, and this time let's give it a fade up. And finally image number four, and let's give it a fade left. Now let's click on save to save our progression, and let's take a look at our page. All right, so first thing I see is that we need to recenter the image because the head is a bit cut off here. So that's the first thing we want to take care of. So back in editing mode, let me scroll back up. Let me select my first container. And then here in style, you see background. Let's scroll down and by changing the position of the dot, we change the position here. So let me click on save and let's preview our page. All right, much better. So now let's scroll down. As you can see, we have our text here. We have our form. And by the way, regarding the appearance of our form, let me show you something. So let's go back in editing mode and let me scroll down. Now let me select my form and just to be sure, let's open the document overview and let's select the form block. Next, you wanna to go to general and click on the presets sub tab. Next, let's select the second preset. Click on save and let's preview our page. Now let's scroll down. And as you can see, it's a bit more stylish because there's only one border at the bottom of each field. Now this comes down to your preferences, but in my case, I prefer this option. All right, now let's scroll down. And as you can see, here is our animation. Now in the beginning of this video, I told you we could use Spectra Pro to enhance this page. And I'm gonna show you how, specifically this animation. So back in our dashboard, first of all, you wanna go to plugins, add new plugin. Click on upload plugin. Next, click on choose file. Next, select the Spectra Pro zip file. Click on open and click on install now. Next, click on activate plugin, paste your license key and click on activate. All right, your license is now activated. So let's go back to pages, all pages, then edit contact page. Now let's scroll down and let's select our second image. Then go to advanced animations and let's give it an animation delay of 300. Now let's select the third image and let's give it an animation delay of 600. And finally, fourth image, animation delay of 900. Now let's hit save and let's preview our page. Okay, so let's scroll down. And now as you can see, we have more control on the animation. Now let's go back to the original version. Let me scroll down. And as you can see, it's all happening at once. But in the pro version, let me refresh. And as you can see, we have more control on when the elements appear. Now that was only one of the many enhancements of Spectra Pro. So if you're interested, you find the link in the description below. So as you can see, with the help of the ready-made website, as well as the course files, building the contact page was a breeze. And in the next video, I will show you how to create a completely new page from scratch.